Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's video. Investigation into this Patterson and her 10 month old child. As the JCF continues the investigation into this appearance of Tashina Patterson and her 10 month old child, Saraya Paulwell, from their homes at 3 Gilmore Drive, Kingston 20 and Saturday, September 9, 2023, I wish to inform the public that we are now satisfied by the overwhelming evidence secured that both Tashina Patterson and her 10-month-old baby, Saraya, were brutally murdered and their bodies burned and disposed of. It is one of the most painful investigations for the team since recent times. However, the team of investigators continue to be professional and remain focused. Charges in relation to the investigations have been preferred as followed. Leoda Vanessa Bradshaw, 34 years old, petty officer in the U.S. Navy. She was charged with two counts of conspiracy to murder, two counts of conspiracy to kidnapping, two counts of kidnapping, two counts of murder. Roland Lloyd Balfour, 30 years old, assistant graphic designer of 67 Commission Road, Kingston 2. He was charged with two counts of conspiracy to murder, two counts of conspiracy to kidnapping, misprison of felon. Roshane Miller, 29 years old, AC technician of 1B Camperdown Road, Kingston 16. He was charged with two counts of conspiracy to murder, two counts of conspiracy to kidnapping, and misprison of felon. Richard Brown, O.C. Ritchie, O.C. Gorilla, 31 years old, graphic designer of 2 Campden Road, Kingston 16. He was charged with two counts of conspiracy to murder, two counts of conspiracy to kidnapping, and two counts of kidnapping. The DPP has obtained a voluntary bill and the case will be taken directly to the Supreme Court. The, in, the, investigation, the investigation continues. Uh, I will not go into more specifics regarding the investigation, but as I said, this is one of the most painful um, experiences for the investigation, investigators, and I want to commend the, investigat the investigators who are directed from CIB headquarters by Superintendent Champigny and the team, as well as those from St. Andrew Central, which is headed by DSP Price. Yes, man. Congratulations to my squad, you know, DCP, um, Superintendent, yeah, man, Derek Champigny. That's the man who stand up right behind Fitz Bailey. Yeah, man, watch me, you know what I'm saying? We train together and everything. Like. Good police, you know. Yeah, meticulous detective. You understand? Yeah, I don't want you know you guys to think that because you know this man is my batch mate. You know that you know that um, he has been sharing any information with me. I haven't spoken to Derek Champagne in years. You understand? Period. You know, like maybe six or seven years. Um, and uh, you know what? You know, our squad, our batch was trying to um set up some yeah. You know, reunion thing. But you know, as usual, Jamaican people, even in a police force, you know, them are criminal cuddlers and excuse specialists. And, you know, 
Yeah, you're a stool, yeah. I know you know that thing. If you're a liar, me, I just tell you straight up say you're a liar, period. So I just saw it go. So big up Champagne, yeah, man. Derek Champagne, holding the string uh, as a, you know, a member of the uh, our batch, yeah, man. You understand? Yeah, glad for Derek Champagne and the great KC. Yeah, and yeah, even my squad, the SSP, Shami and Shan, yeah, man, my condolences this to you. Well, I soon do a thing about your, your stepfather and them things. There's a lot of things that I have bad, it's a beat. I never beat fire pain. You know? I just start the truth, you understand? Yeah, and who oh, else? Yeah, 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 EG, um, Samuels, yeah, you know, Samuels, yeah. And we just heal up all of my batch mate, them and them things there, yeah, from my batch. Yeah, man, and all of them, in there, all of them all on me, yeah. Me, I'm the youngest one from my batch. I'm proud of that. Yeah, when we say youngest, all of them all on me. Yeah, man, me a youngest man from my batch, youngest police that graduate. So, one thing that them can't take from me, I'm still alive. I'm still a youngest one out of all of them. Yeah, me and, yeah, and, yeah, and, and baby cock, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, John Joe, John Joe and Bag of Dirt and um, Mad Rye oh, and, and Piggy, yeah. So, moving on. Yeah, yeah, you know, little, you know, you know for that side, side thing, you know. So if you notice, you know, I noticed most of you do, um, did even catch what really happened with the police briefing. Some of you have been saying that, uh, what happened to the it man and this and that. All right, listen now. If you notice the person that they say who's charged with charged with murder, yeah, it, that is Leo the Bradshaw. Yeah, man, that are the woman, man. She is the one, the alleged person who shot and killed the baby and the mother. At point blank rage. So powder, powder residue is on their body, although them burn it and them thing there because you know forensic and all them thing there. You understand? So when I go in depth, as we said to you before, you understand what I'm saying? So she is the killer. Leho de Bracha. She killed them herself. Yes, the woman allegedly point the gun at the woman, the mother first, and then she killed the mother. then she killed the mother, then after that she killed the baby. This woman did it. So if there's any other case in a Jamaica that you believe that the death penalty should apply to, it's this case. Yeah, man. Leo the Bradshaw murder, cold-blooded murder, my man. She's a baby killer, and that's what she has done. And you know, as usual, you know the work to visit them, because I'm going to tell you this, you know. So, I, this is not a, a digression, you know, because that's what I address that, you know. So, I was reading an article by one of your favorite members of parliament, Lisa Anna, and you know what she says? She said it's um, mental health, why people kill people. So, you know, I just comment on her Instagram and say, boy, so weird. So, oh, all of them mad people, they don't turn in the same thing. So, they ain't kill nobody. You understand? So, I don't know what she come by them things. I saw them still, you know, you, you know, you know, it's mental health, why people killing people, uh, why people killing people. It's madness. You understand? That, yeah, you know, so they're trying to desensitize the people to accept killers. And Leo the Bradshaw, yeah, man, she deserve a death penalty, but we have heard the cry from. You know, from the walk to visit them, cause you know, as usual, you know, them come out already. Uh, you know, um, Leah Bradshaw, you know, um, she has a mental problem, and you know, because um, Philip Pollard didn't mar marry to her, and and this and that, and, and and you know, she has been traumatized from, from being in the military. She never get the ply overseas and all them things. So when I touch on certain things, you understand. And hey, look, you can't take the people them out of the ghetto. But you can't take the ghetto mind. You can't take the ghetto thinking out of them. You understand? So she know, yeah, a girl take my man she for dead. If Philip Pollard wanted to marry to her, he would, he would have married to her. He found out, you know, that she was wife material, you know, when she started use explicit, yeah, some, some colorful Jamaican language to the big man. You understand what I'm saying? Well, you know, because she have, she have, a, child, um, she have a child for him. You know, some man kind of tolerate some kind of woman and them thing there. And, you know, some woman, when a man live by himself and she just come and, like, literally bad up the man, you know. And because, him, you know, my, my, my gentleman, you know, based on information received, she allowed, she just walk over him. So I just saw it go. So she just come to Jamaica with one intention and one intention alone. Because all of these information was passed on to her by people from within the PMP criminal organization so all of you men be you know, from the pmp criminal organization we don't want to know over here now. yeah you are not welcome please keep keep on your briefs and your bingo baggies and stay out of jamaica young police channel thank you because we don't love wine and them thing and everything but oh what about hey look we don't want to know what about that a communist 
Anything that we are telling over here, sir, is the mama, papa truth. If it hurt, I saw it go on them things that the truth hurt only guilty. We are not over here to massage your egos and tell you any lies for you to feel good about your political party or your favorite political leader or your favorite scammers or your favorite thieves or murderers. No, we're going to tell you the raw, born mama, papa truth. So that's how, it's, that's how it is over here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. So I know that what I am what I'm going to say is going to make many people feel upset at my narrative that Jamaica is a criminal's paradise in the Caribbean Sea. And here's why. I am going to still just listen, you know. You because I am from the belly of the beast, you know. I am telling you, you know. So, you know that uh, when people are studying and, you know, for them doctorate and stuff like that, them always want to feel whatever area that you're, stu you know, you're going to, you know, do your dissertation, you, you, you go inside of that. You know, whether it's a community and you find out, you know, you, you live around the people, the man, that are one of the best things that you can ever do. You understand? But most of the people, they won't tell you this. Most of the educators, they won't tell you that Jamaica is a criminal's paradise in the Caribbean Sea. They won't not tell you that. That is yours truly. Like, hey, look, I never got a big, I never got a half of the them things. I never got a big university, you know. I never got a GSC or a KC or a Woolmers or Georges. I got one school in St. Mary's College, but Boots Stewart used to go, one of the richest men in Jamaica, so you understand? So, yeah, we'll big up St. Mary's College, I St. Mary's College, you understand? But the highest education we received after that was the Jamaica Police Academy. Yes, when Edward Siaga was Prime Minister, yeah man, and, and I wasn't sent there by Siaga like how Ox and Bigger Food was sent to poor trial by Michael Manley. I wasn't, I wasn't a part of any... Well, me know so the they never have no brigadista program, so I never go through the police force like that. I did my test, me and Bogle and me, I pass, we pass. And him just decide to say, the people them up a tank tell him, say, hey boy, no become no informer, you see it? And you see it? I see him, I see him, madness him fall and I saw him lose him life and everything. I never, you, know, you understand? Me love, me, I'm an informer because me, I don't believe in a no guy supposed to violate anybody's right. You understand? You're supposed to free for what you want to say. And if you, if you hurt that person, you're supposed to pay for your crimes. You understand? Yes. It's just simple as that. Uh, you know, it's a hard, hard crime fighter. You understand? I believe in criminal must live in fear of losing their lives. I'm not the law abiding citizen. That is just me. So that's why I'm saying I want a men baby over here. You understand? So, yeah, man. So when I tell the people them that Jamaica is a criminal's paradise, and here's why. As a people, jo as Jamaicans, most of you don't know, you know. so we are, uh, that's why we are telling you, know. it's over here, so over here, so totally different, you know. Most of you don't even know as a people, I mean, I tell you, you know, because subconsciously, you know, most Jamaicans don't even realize, you know, even educators who are from Jamaica, you understand, them don't, they, well, some of them might, them, them know, but them afraid to say it. But we are the Jamaica Young Police, and you know, we are not afraid to say it, you understand. So we have been culturally, we have been culturally and socially nurtured to be criminal minded criminal minded, criminal sympathizers and enablers by our government from 1972 to 1980. I was a child then, you know. I tell you, this is because all of these things are from my experience, you know. You understand? So we were getting the country back on track on, uh, from 1980 October until February 1989 when the PMP criminal organization under the leadership of the late Michael Manley heralded the era of normalizing killers and criminality because this is what they are good at. They are good at the PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization are good at creating criminals. Yes, and I say that without any apologies. They are good at creating criminals and murderers. You understand? And because, and they are good at destroying people's mind for them to eat each other and make their neighbors their enemies. That is what the PMP is good at. Yeah, you feel yeah, yeah. For anybody, for them a labor right or, or, or anything like you feel eat them and you feel eat your neighbor and them thing. Now if your neighbor have two cars, them figure you one. Me not again in my car. That is not drive me again on my car and them thing. Now. Oh, oh, you understand? So I saw the all the bad mind thing coming. That's why we have problems there. And we have to oh, hey, I can't tell you this, you know. The PMP LGBTQ plus party you know, is a criminal organization. You know. They have, they have no interest, you know, in coming to the table, you know. With all hands on deck, you know, to get to get rid of this problem, you know, because that's how them get votes. May I tell you that, you know. You understand? Remember, you know, Mark, uh, Mark Golden, you know. A Labour Day, Mark Golden, a march with a murderer, you know. Last week, him get shot, you know. Danville Palmer, you know. Yes, and look here. And you don't see it on CV or TVJ. Why? Because they are a part of it. Uh, from 19, in the 70s, you know. 
You understand? From in the 70s, JBC have been destroying the people's mind in my community for tell them if you eat the police, I police are them problem. Like I police are in at last and I create jobs. If PMP don't know if you create jobs, all they know for do is give a note and create criminals. Just look at if you think I'm lying, just look at the Kingston metropolitan areas. All of these PMP look at all of the times. Look at the people them who are always the most wanted men in Jamaica. In the Kingston metropolitan area, and look at which the community, which political party it always align, align with. Matter about the most wanted man, what most wanted men all the time is only always the PMP LGBTQ plus community they are from because that is what they are good at creating criminals instead of creating jobs. Them don't tell the people them in these communities, boy, the only way I go escape poverty is through education. No. Like the Mark Golden, they might tell us, boy, hey, boy, you know, a peace, when you put on the illegal gun them and everybody come by here. You can't have peace like that. What kind of peace is that? That you normalize criminality. Yeah, and them people don't say, we don't want to be Prime Minister. If I Andrew, if I Andrew Olness, the Prime Minister in a march with any. Alright, look, you saw, if Andrew Olness was marching with any gun, any murderer, known murderer, like, her, like how Dudus get convicted in America and our jail, and him come on. Him a, and the Prime Minister march with Dudus. Hey, every day, every day see if he may remind you, and every day TV J remind you. But because they are the part of the destroy the people in mind, them don't make the people them see that. I saw them stay in May I tell you that. So moving on. At, hey, look here, and I don't care who wants for Bex. You can unsubscribe because you can unsubscribe now hurt me. I just you now no can deal with truth so you get vexed. Anything that I am saying make you uncomfortable, that means you must think. That is what we are here for, for make you, make you think. If you want a better Jamaica, you understand? You have to make sure that your party or criminal organization change. You have to make them change. And the change come from the bottom, not either by party, because the party is a criminal organization. And if you just look at the history of the PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization, remember even the other day, you know, I say at least I not talk about morals and all them things. Remember the other day in time, um, the Jamaican government I tell um, tell Joe Biden say, hey look here, boy, hey look, boy, hey, we don't recognize two men and all them things there. You understand as marriage and them things. We can't go against with that. Hey, if PMP come out, you know, instead of defending Jamaica, you know, and Jamaican laws, you know, you know them come out, America, them are defending and, and 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 the real admiral behavior, you know. And I say, boy, oh, Oh, Jamaica go suffer now and, and this and that and you have a look, a, a look at ugly brother and all them things there. Him come out and, yeah, yeah, and, and then, hey, and, and then all weather brother come come about family. What kind of family values that are ugly some of? When him the day they beat, a beat um, the, 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 the government and I say, boy, the government, um, the, the government, the government um, is going to pay a high price to turn away the, 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 the two men. A Jamaica law, as some may tell us, is a criminal organization. So they don't respect the law of Jamaica, you know. Anything, it's all about power. They don't love Jamaican people. So anything where they destroy the people, them. And then you know, the same people, you know, you have, you know, have sharp memory, you know. You know forget, you know, most of you, forget. I'll leave the Queen of Africa and them things. Boy, poor thing, Miss Arfiar. She forgets at uh, the same, the same part. I show her that, I tell you, know, the people, them stay, you know, where, where support the... PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization. You know. All if them give them pies if you drink and them family, them still are that, them still are saying them thing there. Them can't think. Look at Queen Africa. Are the PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization, which was government, you know. Are them robber of millions, you know, by telling lies, you know. And what, what she has said to the day. A PMP, she still has said, she has said, oh, boy, oh, a PMP criminal organization, may I ride with all them thing there. We're not even talking about the ugly one, the doppy one, and them thing there, where. We talk about um, we are all humans, uh, you idiot and them thing, they big foot one. We're not talking about she you have to understand that them people have the morals in it, it's all about money. You understand what I'm saying? And them beat Queen of Africa. All of them. Because you know, because just because she woman say, Yo, big up your baby father and me big up my baby father. Although you know so you know boy rebel used to beat her, but you know, you, you understand. So you know, right now you're looking at your L C D so you know that um, the PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization, so them come out with a statement saying, you know, you know, um, you know the PMP, the PMP um, condemns anus murder of Paul Wells' daughter and her mother. Hey, look here, we don't believe, you know, I lie when I tell. Lie the whole owner, because the whole owner, apartheid, the whole owner, 
You understand? That's why them all kill all the man, them kill all the baby out of Rockford and do everything in them constituency. And then they will have a sorrow get them online about um Paul Lil for resign. Resign for what? Paul is the rightful leader, president of the PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization. Yes, I will say that without any apology because we are an idiot. We know say who no rob the man and them thing there. Yo, Pete thief in Peter Bunting and um, criminal minded Peter Bunting. Yes, you're a criminal minded person. You understand? Uh, Mark Golden, Angela Brown Burke, Paul Burke, and the, the, what them name? The, 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 the brother what them say him love uh, him love them him love them young. Um, Dayton Campbell, the alleged um, pedophile and all them things there. Yes, I want to rob the man out. And all of them things were coming in here with this woman now, this murderer, this um, the woman who killed, shot, shot the woman and the baby, Leo the Bradshaw. All of them were in cahoots with this woman and uno support what was happening. I support everything that happened. Uno never mentioned anything about it at the PMP LGBTQ plus conference when, you know, when the criminal organization meet at the national arena. I want to take back the thousand dollars. I want to give people them for a whole jungle and them thing. They ten thousand dollars. But I'm mean, cousin them back. But hey, look, I just saw it go on them thing there. You understand? You must think Mark Golden are giving up. You think a Michael man there? Like, but why? Well, you know when PJ the day and P and, and Michael, you know them give him and I take it back. Yeah, what you expect? Mark Golden a white man. You think same? You think same? Mark Golden a he that and them thing there? If you give a fee more money, no nah, man. The money that them used to buy vote and then they buy on a vote as from Lisa. Uh, um, that's why I don't know vote for Lisa. Uh, I just saw it go on them thing that we expect. I just saw it, you know. So moving on. You understand? So we don't know. So the one thing they are good at, they're good at destroying the, mind, the people's mind for them to eat each other. And we know that that's how they preach, divide. Yeah. They, 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 you know, they have never preached unity of the people because they have divide and conquer to rule the people whose IQ are like stones. Because look at, at, at a, a woman like Queen Africa. Queen Africa gave up her brain, you know. She gave up her brain to them, you know. That's why she still not even see the harm that they have done to her, you know. You understand? You, you see me? I'm a man who can think. You understand? Because look, if you hurt me, are you causing an economic harm to me? I could never support it because you're not my friend. You understand what I'm saying? Because all you care about is yourself. And that is what they did to her. They said, boy, Queen Africa, homophobic and this and that and one and two little things. And what them do? Them, I will if I show them boy I can't fit. And at least and on the PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization, which was the government, did that lie then. And still, yeah, Queen Africa still has a boy. Yeah, man, I did me a roll it. I mean, I tell you about you for rolling, boy, if you think. You have a brain. You, you, know, you, you know, you have a brain. You have to use your brain and think. But some people, them just hand over them brain to the um, PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization and them come like a zombie, you know, like a, a like an organic robe of them can't them cannot think for themselves. Yeah, but I can think for myself and thanks to my mother where em, you know entrain something in me and she said, Yeah look, I say Ali say you don't speak the truth, people not gonna like you and if everybody like you something wrong with it. I know one about if you like me because me I go tell me not gonna tell you no lie. Me I go tell you the raw and mama papa truth. You understand? So moving on. Yeah, so we tell you that already and them thing. So most of them have given up their brains to the criminal organization. For for over um you know, for the past fifty one years them give up them them give up them brain. They are elderly people. Them see truth and still don't want to accept it and them thing. You understand? Them see truth, okay, you tell them the truth that you see yeah. At first thing when them do, boy, so what about this? It's like you tell a man say, Hey, you know, say your boy a thief, you know, you need to talk to him, make him chain. Instead of them say, yeah, true what you're saying, I'm a supporter, hear them. So, um, then Tom, son down the son of thief, too. So, uh, that means that they might make excuses for them son for thief, you know. And when you try to explain them, you just know, do it as like a baby step. They don't understand. You understand? So, we know that so Leoda Bradshaw is the wickedest Jamaican woman ever. She's a baby killer who deserves the death penalty. And here's why. As she kill them, you know. As she use a gun and kill them herself. This woman we all look upon right there. And a stupid cousin because you see because Jamaica is a criminal paradise. And she knows why people get away with murder all the time. But she never knows why this one in you know, a big one, you are play with fire. She never knew that. So I tell people all the time, you know, all of these murder that commit that committed it in Jamaica, like uh, the guy with name um Yuan Darling, Rifle, one of the British, all of them murder the campus, you know, the same way them use technology, you know. And I tell people already in you know, a cause trial you know. 
she know it too, you know, because she's a Navy intelligence officer, you know. But you understand? But because her mind get clouded, you know, because she think as the same way you know, as somebody who comes from Rockford, say, boy, people commit murder all the time and get to her Jamaica. So I tell you, but she know, you understand? So you see it? Them, them can't solve a whole part, them can't solve many murders in Jamaica, you know, but you have to understand. It's either go right back to the address or zip. You know, in America, we say zip code. So if you're poor and them thing there, you know, you have a certain background. Hey, right, boy, you're dead. I just say go on them thing. They go on and say, boy, happy returns and them thing. They don't care. But when you go touch, you know, a, a MP, um, baby, no, man. I, I saw, you understand what I'm saying? I saw everything, because they understand them. I use GPS and them thing there and all of the, the triangulation. You understand? Yeah. So it's going to show us so where it ping on this and that and one and two little things. And them can look on it in real time when they go back in. If you ever look on your GPS when you drive and you see it, yeah, them can go back in real time and do all of them things. You understand? So I don't know how them do it at Jamaica to get all of them information there. But in a real time. So all of the murder them will commit in Jamaica. It can't be solved. But you understand? But you have to understand that it's time and money. So them not end say, uh chop, boy, oh, he may not kill all them things. Okay about him and him dead, make him go on all all dirty boy and them thing. I just saw it go. A part of the system. I just saw it, you understand. So it all have to do with your zip code or your address in a Jamaica. You understand? So yeah man, so you know, so moving on, so here it is now. So you know, so as we said, the people them hand over their mind and them thing to the PMP um LGBTQ plus criminal organization and the GLP party is partially to be blamed to. Yeah. So the GLP government whose party is partially be responsible for the decadent behavior and dehumanization of others when I was growing up in the 1980s. The artificial borderlines were dismantled. And the reason why we say that the, the, the GLP government is partially responsible for what is going on now, and we are telling you now, we are educating you people, is that you see, in twi- uh, let me show you now. Oh, criminal, very powerful in Jamaica. Christopher Dudu score. A one man, a one man, one man, you know. Uh, it, the PMP already in a, a, you know, a chip where, uh, you know, the rights of the police, a chip where, and uh, empower the criminals them from the 1990s. Because from 1994, P.J. Patterson, you know, yeah, the most, the um, allegedly the most criminal-minded, Hey, the man, hey, the way the man is wicked, the man they rob from all the people in Jamaica and then commit suicide. You know? oh, all the man they sleep. PJ Patterson and Mark Golden and Pete, all them sleep. If you know, say so you make your own people will look like you come kill themselves because you rob them. And you understand? Fin sucking you know, and that's some wicked people. That's why I'm telling you, say PMP, LGBTQ, you know, is a criminal organization. And you know? them rob from the people, them, you know, man. And many Jamaicans you know, commit suicide. You know? And guess what? You see how some of them pit me? I still them as a oh a PMP we is you know we are ride with them you know and them not even a think and I say no man we need them people I need for change you understand and stop being a criminal organizer and be a political party with ideas them not no ideas you know all them tell people say yeah all right vote for we you get less time in a prison for crime and all of them thing there. I just saw them do it you understand so them set the them set the the, the, the foundation for people commit crime I just you understand and by doing that what well, you know say hey. Because they appeal to the they appeal to the worst of the Jamaican pe- um, populace, you know. And that they are lazy though. And you know, say so the worst of the populace, I people them will love kill people. And them feel like say, oh, yeah, them say, boy, oh, man a bad man and them thing. And them people they, them put on a pedestal in a Jamaican. Like me, uh shut him up, Chris I in farmer and them thing, old Babylon boy and yeah, my farmer, him used to work for the government of Jamaica and all Babylon. Yeah, and me, you know, I go see the mural on the wall with me at Jonestown or Jungle or Waterford. They, they not go put that because I am not an idol to them, to the criminal world. But you will see, uh, they will put up one with Kunda, they will put out Vibes Cartel and Paint and all them things. That's how it go. Yeah, that's how it go in the in, in a, the, in a Jama, Jamaican. You understand? So, criminal is always lauded, revered, and celebrated. And then, the IPMP I give them that, you know. And Michael Manley first do that, you know. Remember, Michael Manley took, most of them know, Michael Manley took fed them up, you know. Fed them up and borrow boy with him in the Cuba, you know. And fed them up, kick over a table, you know, right in front of Fidel Castro, you know. Because he said, no, he's poking and he's a rasta and this, him a this, you know. So he may behave like a prime minister, you know. And Michael Manley for us, you know, elevate criminality to that level, you know. Most of them don't know. So that's why, that's why I am telling you guys that, that the PMP LGBTQ plus is a criminal organization. Because fed them up and borrow boy, nobody never vote for them. But Michael Manley took them on official government trip to Cuba. And that's what happened. This them um, fed them up, 
kick over the table. And um, two weeks after that, he come back. Now one man just go and shot him. And no PMP official never got him funeral and them thing. Then, but when Bore Boy dead now, yeah, them all try to go through Tivoli and one hole. And them say, boy, man, shoot off a Michael. Because at them, you know, I try to go through Tivoli to create problem and them thing. Because them say a Tivoli man did kill him. But you have to understand that's why all of them are criminal. Because he kill P, he kill Labour right. And then Labour right kill, back, kill them. Because at them, you know, you understand what I'm saying. At them, remember, say, I fed them up and Bore Boy. You know, they are the ones who are responsible for turning. Um, kin, um, Central Kingston, like, you know, where Ralph Brown and all them under the control for years as MP in our PMP enclave because it was originally a Labour right com, um, constituency, just like Porsche Simpson constituency. It was originally a Labour right constituency, and them kill out the people, them at Pain Avenue, them commit a massacre. Most of you don't know that, you know, but I know that because I have family from Jonestown who left there and went there. You understand? Yes, I, you know, even when I station, I want to be my family will live at Pain Avenue. To talk to them, but me never acknowledge them because I know say their parents or them say a crime them commit. I saw them get that. There. I saw them get the place. Kind of for them place, you understand? I pe- the people them for them kill. I saw for them. Yeah, I saw them get that the place. Because they march. Because they might get house. So I them thing there. So I saw the bad mind thing. Yeah, you have a house. You have two houses. You give me one. So them kill them and take for them house. All of the high rise building them in a Pain Avenue. None of the people them will live there. They are the legitimate, they are the owners for it. And none, and, and if you trace it back, they are not related to the original owners. I am telling, me not ask, I tell me, I tell you that. Because most of them don't even know that we live at Pain Avenue, like Walker Man and all them people there. Ask Miss Young, I don't know if Miss Young is dead and them things. Because Miss Young come from Jonestown, because she used to live right beside me. So that's why my daughter wants to be at them things, she used to call me my son and them things there. You understand? And, and people I say, wait, oh, she's so close to him. Because she knows me from my little boy. Because Miss Young used to live right beside me at Jonestown. Yeah, big, big fat Miss Young where live up at Evendale and them thing there. And you understand? And boy, you know, she remind me about Crash Program and all them thing there. Because I saw them people that stay in them. Love it, you know. Yeah, but, you know, when I, when I go, you know, I just saw it go on them thing there. So, we're continuing the journey. Yeah, so, so you know, so this woman, you know, this, uh, you know, so this woman, why well, may I tell you, you know, so a lot of people are complaining about the, you know, um, about the police force and this and that. And I tell people, you know, that the, the PMP criminal organization, you know, when they were the government in 1989, them started to dismantle the police force. Yeah. And this is where we, we, you know, we start to say crime start increase and murder. Uh, when the PMP in the power, them start killing witnesses in a murder case. Yeah, the fr- and it's a big time. It's a big time PMP. Yeah, and we never say a bird Samuels, you know. It's a, we never, no, we never say a bird Samuels started, you know. You understand? So I don't want to not get it twisted, you know. It's a big time PMP, LGBTQ plus criminal organization lawyer started. Tell what boy I come from, Pain Avenue, you know, Christopher Brown. Them call him Chris. He was killing a shootout in January 1993 over Mackay Lane. Yeah, man. And he was a big rear admiral when the boy did him have on Pampas. Yes. And the people them are Pain Avenue say, oh, yeah, he's a general and them thing. I don't know how a man for kill. You, you kill people where, and, um, and you're a general. You saw people their mind twisted. So this is the boy that killed. He's the one. He's the first criminal in a Jamaica who started to kill witnesses in murder case. Because a prominent... PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization lawyer told them that the only way to free the Adam in them, you have to kill the witnesses. And this boy decided to, him, because his brother was charged with the murder too, you know, three of them. I don't remember them name half and them thing. You know, my detective inspector would have remind me, and my, you know, crime, um, Ivan or Thompson, because he was the arresting officer in the case. You understand? And I just saw it go. So them start that, you know. Because before then, you know, a man charged with murder. The witness, even the family know the witness and them, and them pass in their community, them either talk or them not talk. Nobody not trouble you witness. They are the one that started it. Remember, I'll tell you, Mila, you know, how much people him kill? Three people him kill a brute and you know, we are witness the, the murder where him committing you know, and them give him bail, you know. Because his government was in power, you know, them give him bail for go kill the witness, them three. A brute and, and him walk. Because the rest of the people, them are witness the murder, them free it because... They realize, boy, wait, I'm charged with murder, and then him get bail and come and kill the witnesses. Them, I just saw it go a Jamaica, that you know, you understand, it's a criminal's paradise. That was when the PMP in a power, you know. We are not saying right now, you know, say the Jamaica Labour Party government, you know, is not in bed with criminal or the other party, you know, but it's just that them, they, them young to the one thing with them, 
the PMP them good at committing crime and cover it up. The P the Labour right them them not good at that. That's why Dal Rimple have to resign have to, have to resign the other day. Because you understand what I'm saying? I just saw it go. Them now no shame, cause them are a criminal now no shame, you know. If you look in, you, know, you understand what I'm saying? Let's just look at the, them track record. The only thing the, the PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization is good at is creating criminals. So Philip Paulwell, yeah, I'm realizing you know, years, years ago that he had made a mistake when he slept with this kettle from Rockford. Yeah, man, Leo the Bradshaw. I just saw it go on him thing there. You know. So that's why as a man, you have to learn for control. Your third soldier. You have to learn for control your soldier. You understand? So he realized, you know, so he make a big mistake, you know. That's why I'm a martyr. You know, you know, and he did not, you know, he never want to, he want to get rid of her, but he didn't know how, he, never, he didn't know how to get rid of her. You know, as she was forceful, you know, you have some woman, look, you tell them, say, you know, want them, and them still a show up on all of your workplace and all them things, because them have a kid for you, and them loud and all them things. So that's why he tolerate her and them things. So when people talk about why he know about it and them things, poor Philip, Philip, uh, hey, Philip, hey, hey, you know, say so you have some man on them thing there. Boy, I mean, you know, it's like them have to fight for get all them, get all them soldiers stand up for some um, woman and them thing there because them despise the woman so much. I saw him despise she, and most people don't know that. Ah, Lisa, and I can't tell her, can I tell her? Yeah, the same Lisa and I talked about earlier. Philip Paul, him, him, they despise this woman because, uh, uh, you know, because she's obnoxious, belligerent, and she's very... I'm out nasty, nasty mouth. Yes, and Philip, eh, Philip Paulel is a man eh, raised well, you know. You understand? So that's why them say, boy, yeah, Philip, you know, I don't know, man, baby, but you know, because him have him, him, him a real admiral to one of them things, eh? you understand? So you know, same kind of sa him sa. So that's why Mark Golden and Peter Bunting them can bad him up on them things. Eh? So that's why the people them say, boy, oh, that's him, Miss Danai Williams, car Danai Williams, that stand up for him, you know. Yeah, that them I say. So they must say, boy, you understand? Um, Porsche really do a, a, you know, a job on pan Danai Williams, make him have to run with all them things. You understand? So I just saw it go. That's why we tell you say, the PMP LGBTQ plus is a criminal organization, not a political party. Yeah, man, them bad up, man, them bad up Philip Paul and all them things. So, yeah, man, so moving on. So, you know, you understand? So, the reason, so that's why this, you know, this kettle, that's why she leave from America, you know. Yeah, she you know took a plane from the United States of America, went to Jamaica and murdered Philip Paulwell, baby, and her and him baby mother. Because she thought she could get away with it. Because in Jamaica the killers are the victims and the victims are and their families are suckers. And it's true. In a Jamaica, you know, yeah, as somebody commit a crime, everybody start finding excuse for the killer. I see him thinking like Lisa and I start say boy. Um, you know, people who commit murder, we must look because 41% um, she has, you know, um, quote, you know, quote a doctor and write an article years ago, say 41% of Jamaican people are military. You will away a Jamaican mad, so you will away not kill off everybody. And what kind of madness that? Mad people, me never seen a mad people downtown in my girl in the 70s. Them sleep on them cardboard and them block, them block and dirty and they all, some of them have rasta with cake up and all them things and them not trouble nobody. They not kill nobody. So I don't know what you're about say, boy, mental health. So then the people they not kill nobody. They see mad people them. We sleep on them cardboard and all them things there. And them sleep on a big tree where you used to have the checker cap them and all them things there. You understand that? A big tree that the opposite which part um taste is there. It's a big tree right there, so you know, and then right part orange tree, the, you know, JOS bus them used to park. All them people never used to kill nobody. A madness that about peak mental health. Lie. I, I want to talk about. I make excuse about um, you know. You know, it's men mental, in mental illness, nothing. You understand? Mad people don't kill people. Unless you trouble them and them things. You know, very rare and them things. You know, so especially one of them, schizophrenic. Them a boy and schizophrenic. They, them boos, all them kill people. And you understand? And people celebrate them. Lie them and do song about them. And me killer and me G and me charge and all kind of madness. You understand? We don't make excuses to criminals. Criminal are criminal and them a parasite. And that's why we believe in a preemptive strike. Leo, the, um, what we say, you know, a death penalty them for gear. But you know, say it now go up now. Jamaica, from 1988. And we can go right back and tell you who responsible for that. Because they never hang one, not even a fly. Because the hang man, you know, the, the, the hang man, you know, from 1988, you know, him not getting no work in him. Just collect the government check every month, see him here. Because I'm still on staff. You understand? Yeah, that's a man, you know, the, the man who fly the, 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 the rope. 
You man make them shit up themselves when them hang <laughs> before them hang. You understand? Because they know say them are dead, you know. I just saw it go them thing, you know. So them feet saying them shit up themselves to stop them from dead. You man I saw it forgot. But that will love him hang them to them teeth king. You understand? So yeah man, so Leo, Leo the Bradshaw, uh, yeah man, the woman, a she point the gun for a she point the gun, you know. She a uh, Leo the Bradshaw, you know. They are legend. So you know this case with you know the um Leo the Bradshaw uh, killing um Philip Powell's baby and the baby mother. You know that we have to you know we have to go in depth in this investigation and you know the back give us some context about the case itself. So yeah, you know the information is we have so so you know much information about this case. So we have to share it with you, our you know loyal viewers and subscribers and Patreon members. So the reason why you, you, you know you're gonna get it in two parts is because of the amount of evidence and amount of intelligence and information that we're gonna share with you guys. So that's the reason why you know it's gonna be in a two part. Yes. So you know I hope you enjoy hearing it, and you'll get part two shortly. We won't hold it too long from you because we know that knowledge is power. I would like to keep you guys informed and updated about the latest, you understand? You know, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we do believe in preemptive strike, right? Save lives. That's what we're all about over here, all about saving lives. You know, we're not, we're not here to tell you things to massage your ego to make you feel good. No, we're not going to do that. We're telling things to make you feel uncomfortable. So once you get upset about something and you get upset, hey, yeah, you want to unsubscribe, you know what we say, it's working, so it's hurting you. And that's what we want for the car. We want for wake up your conscience and we want you to think. We don't want an organic robot over here. And, eh, everything we say, I agree with. No, if you agree with 100%, you're an organic robot. We don't want an organic robot and we're not creating a cult over here. We want back Jamaica. That's all we want. And we want it back from them. We know who we are. Talk. We know the criminal supporters, the man. We, you understand? The same one them will give you income. Both political parties gave us income. And we know the one that is good to creating criminals. We want back Jamaica from them. And them we want it back from. And for them Jamaica. And them destroy it. And we want it back from them. What are we the people? Are we the people who want back Jamaica? The good people. Where yes, your daughter can walk on the road and nobody see her in trouble because they know the consequences of doing it. Them rob somebody, them know the consequences. Them kill somebody, them know the consequences. That is what happened in the 1980s. We know it's a different era, but we still can't have at least bring back the country to that semblance of discipline. Jamaican people lack discipline because we have been nurtured to be an indisciplined society and we supposed to be people who support criminality. We're supposed to be a criminal-minded society. You understand? So we denounce all of them things because we deny criminality. We burn fire against criminals. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.